Hey guys, I'm Sunika. Today I'm going to share five photography tips with you guys, which I learned in a recent workshop I went to YouTube Space Mumbai. It's been so useful. These workshops have helped me so much in improving my photography and video skills that I thought I'd do this little video to share a few tips and tricks. So enough talking. Let's get into the video. Rule number one is the rule of thirds. That is, when you're photographing or shooting a video, you must divide your frames into a 3 by 3 grid. And your subject or the most important part of what you're shooting should be at the intersecting points of these lines. So if you're shooting a landscape, then maybe the sea or the sky should begin or start at any of these lines. Or if you're shooting a portrait, then your portrait should also, you know, you must place it at any of these lines. So now we come to our second rule. The second rule says that there must be some head space, meaning space between the head and the end of the frame, and there must be a looking room. There must be some room into which the subject looks or talks into. Rule number three, angles. This is a rule which I used to neglect a lot. So if you shoot at a low angle with the subject appearing higher than you, so you give the impression that the subject is more powerful and stronger than you. So this uh, look is used for female villains or high officials, basically people who are more powerful than others. Similarly, if you shoot at a higher angle such that the subject looks lower than the camera, so you give the impression that they are less powerful and very weak and have less status status. So that is why for bird photography or wildlife photography, they always insist that you must shoot the birds or the animals at eye level so that they don't appear inferior or superior in any way. Don't cut your subject at the joints, you know, the elbows, the wrists or the knees. Try to keep some space between them so that your photographs look more natural. Rule number 5 is depth of field, meaning there must be some separation between your subject and the background. This you can do by either blurring the background by decreasing your aperture and adjusting those settings or you can do it by adding a good backlight for your subjects. Now this gives a depth of field to your images and they look super cool. Of course, there are exceptions to this rule, you don't have to blindly follow them and here are a few places where they were broken very efficiently, <laughs> rules are meant to be broken. So you need to go out there, experiment and develop your own style and see what works best for you. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, there will be more stuff related to photography and travel very soon on my channel. So keep watching and thank you guys. Bye.